hello beautiful family welcome back to another video it's your girl t and i'm back here again with another very delicious recipe for you guys this is what we call fufu corn and kati kati in cameroon it's a meal eaten by the people from grassland region and it's such an interesting meal you want to keep watching this video so stay tuned So this is the vegetable I'm going to be using to make my kati kati. It's huckleberry. Uh, we call it country in jaman jama in Cameroon as well. So I'm just going to show you guys how I prepare the vegetable and we are going to go step by step for each process, okay? So you want to pluck out your vegetables, put them in a pot just like you can see me do and then let that sit in the heat and release its own juices until the vegetable is cooked and actually soft you don't want the vegetable to be too soft okay When the vegetable is half cooked, you're going to strain out the water from the vegetables in a strainer and then pour over some cold water and allow the vegetable to cool down. Next, you're going to get your chicken. This chicken has been seasoned in salt and seasoning cubes overnight and you're going to place your chicken over um, some charcoal heat or if you have firewood heat you can use firewood heat as well and just allow that to roast until it has a very smoky flavor okay so you're going to need your country jama jama some chopped red onions fresh tomatoes country onion powder bush pepper ground bush pepper fresh pepper garlic palm oil salt and seasoning ginger and of course your roasted chicken which is going to make the kati kati so i'm going to leave all the ingredients in the description box so please be sure to check that let's begin by making the vegetable now go ahead and add your, some palm oil into a pot add in your onions and saute that until it's uh, soft go in with your tomatoes guys you're going to use half of the tomatoes make sure you have enough tomatoes because you're going to also need tomatoes for the kati kati so just go ahead and have add in half of your tomatoes and once that is ready Add in your ginger, your garlic, and your pepper, and then proceed to adding in the dry ingredients country onion and bush pepper. You can also go in with your salt and seasoning cubes at this point, and then give that a very good mix to combine and let the ingredients cook. At this point, you want to go in with the vegetable, add in the vegetable and I advise that you pay attention to the proportion of the vegetable to the sauce. Make sure they are proportionate and then give that a very good mix and allow it to cook nicely on very low heat. So there you go the vegetable is ready and looking very green and crunchy now you can turn off the heat and set that aside let's proceed to making the kati kati in another pot you're going to go in with uh, some palm oil 
onion the remaining fresh tomatoes and then go in with the chicken pieces Add your salt and seasoning, the remaining dry spices which is country onion and bush pepper, go in with some fresh pepper, add in some water, give that a good mix, cover it up and allow it to cook nicely until the water in the tomatoes is completely dry. If you have watched up to this time, I want to say a very big thank you. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button if you're a newbie on this channel. Click the like button on this video and leave your comments in the comment section if you have any questions, okay? Once the water is dry, your katikati will look exactly like this. Now let's proceed to making the fufu. To make the fufu, I used about 5 cups of corn flour. So you want to share your corn flour into two proportions one quarter of the corn flour is going to be diluted in cold water just like you can see me do and then you're going to have your pot of hot water on the fire take out some of the hot water and pour it in the flax and then proceed to adding in the fufu which has been mixed in cold water into the remaining part of the hot water Give that a good mix and allow it to cook until it thickens up, okay? Next, you're going to go in with uh, the remaining three quarters of your corn flour. Add it into the thickened fufu mix and continue to mix it until you have a nice and smooth texture. For the third step, you're going to go in with the water you had extracted and put in your flask and just go in with it. Continue to mix the fufu until the consistency is what you like. Allow that to cook until the fufu is ready. Then you can go ahead to serve your fufu corn and katika tea. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you liked this video. Hope you learned something from this video. Please, if you have any questions, leave your questions in the comment section and I'll be glad to leave you an answer. If you're new on my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Join this amazing family before you leave. Love you all and see you guys in my next video. Bye.